Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. The Mighty One God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. God says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the rest of the past night and for the gift of a new day with its opportunities for pleasing you. Grant that we may pass its hours in the freedom of your service, and when evening comes, give you thanks again. Amen. Psalm 103 Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who pardons all your guilt, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your life with goodness, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord performs righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. He will not always accuse. He will not keep his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve. He does not repay us according to our guilty deeds. Yes, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so powerful is his mercy toward those who fear him. As distant as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our rebellious acts from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we were formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. Like a wild flower he blossoms, then the wind blows over it and it is gone, and its place recognizes it no more. But the Lord's mercy is from eternity to eternity over those who fear him, and his righteousness is with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant, with those who remember his precepts in order to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his royal power rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, you strong warriors who obey his word by listening to what he says. Bless the Lord, all his armies, you who minister to him, you who do whatever pleases him. Bless the Lord, everything he has made in all places where he rules. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Proverbs chapter 4. Listen, you sons, to a father's discipline. Pay attention so that you will gain discernment, because I have given you good instruction. Do not abandon my teaching. When I was a son living with my father, a tender and only child with my mother, he used to instruct me and say to me, Cling to my words with all your heart. Obey my commands so that you may live. Acquire wisdom, acquire understanding. Do not forget and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not abandon it and it will watch over you. Love it and it will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is to obtain wisdom. Give up everything you have in order to gain understanding. Cherish her and she will exalt you. She will honor you when you embrace her. She will set a garland of grace on your head. She will present you with a beautiful crown. Listen, my son, and accept my words so that the years of your life will be many. I have instructed you in the way of wisdom. I have led you along straight paths when you walk, your stride will not be hindered. Even if you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to discipline. Do not let go. 
Guard it, because it is your life. Do not travel on the path of the wicked. Do not walk in the way of evil people. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it. Pass it by. For they cannot sleep unless they have been doing wrong. And they are robbed of sleep unless they are making someone stumble. Because wickedness is the food they eat and violence is the wine they drink. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining brighter and brighter until it is day. The way of the wicked is like gloomy darkness. They never know where they will stumble. My son, pay attention to my words. Open your ears to what I say. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them deep in your heart, because they are life for those who find them, and healing for the entire body. Above all else, guard your heart carefully, because your life flows from it. Turn your mouth away from perverted speech, and keep devious lips far away from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Let your gaze be directly in front of you. Make a level pathway for your feet, and all your ways will be secure. Do not swerve to the right or the left. Turn your feet away from evil. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the hometown of Lazarus who had died, the one Jesus raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha was serving, and Lazarus was one of those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about twelve ounces of very expensive perfume, pure nard, and anointed Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was going to betray him, said, why wasn't this perfume sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? He did not say this because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. He held the money box and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus replied, Leave her alone. She intended to keep this for the day of my burial. Indeed, the poor you always have with you, but you are not always going to have me. A large crowd of the Jews learned that he was there. They came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to kill Lazarus too, because it was on account of him that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The next day the large crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. Taking palm branches, they went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. At first his disciples did not understand these things. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him, and that they did these things for him. The crowd that was with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead kept telling what they had seen. This is another reason a crowd met him. They heard he had done this miraculous sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see, you are accomplishing nothing. Look! The world has gone after him. The Word of the Lord I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray that you would so guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 